Uh, if you, obviously with two new suits, like Laura explained, they are a bit more chunkier, they're not as realistic looking, but um, it's still so important. And I mean, don't just like think that, oh, I've come head, it's done. Look at it. Look, really angles. look at it. Take pictures of it, take it to Photoshop or paint or anything. Redline it. Get other people to redline it. Because you, I get sick, like, sometimes if I'm building one, I get sick of looking at it over and over again. I can see there's a problem, but I can't see the problem. So get your friends or somebody that's good at anatomy to have a look at it, have a good study of it. Get yeah, um, a red line. Get, what, decon up again. Decon up again. Yeah. That's you, isn't it? That's, uh, this one. Let's get decon It doesn't matter. Okay. And like, um, as Laura was saying, all foam is different. You can start with just little bits of foaming around here. I mean, cheeks are probably the bit that needs to be foamed the most. Mm. This is just around the muzzle, just to give it more of an outward look and to bring it away from the nose and things like that. It is whatever it is your character has. Yeah, and things like that. All characters have different attributes, so yeah. Take the foam work to it, and definitely species. You, know, your species do, you don't want your cat looking like a wolf, because people will be like, oh, look, a funny wolf. you be like, for God's sake, it's a cat. <laughs> Right, and uh, another quick thing before we get on to, I know one bit that people always like about, is, uh, oh I know what you mean, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, furring heads is exactly the same as body suits, it's, uh, especially, okay, with red, this works with resin and foam heads, it's just, um, I'll come up a bit in a minute, uh, packaging tape, brown packaging tape all over, all where, all over, the, all over even the down to the neck. Down the neck, and then with that, that is when you draw. Because obviously, as you can see with uh, uh, Jacob here, he hasn't got as many, as much elaborate markings as Faru does. Uh, so he's just got some cream around there. This is all airbrushing. We we'll get onto that in a minute as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's just you know that would be like that would be like a panel of colour there, bit around the eyes, obviously around there, etc., etc. And then cut with resin. It's easier to cut off because resin doesn't go into it. it with a Stanley knife. With foam, be a lot more careful because obviously foam will split under a Stanley knife. You're gonna cut. And if you cut the foam and it falls apart, you're, gonna be you're screwed. And then um, some people just get the panels and they glue them straight. So like I say, that um, panel, glue them yeah, on. Yeah, glue, 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 glue. Sew them, Sew them into three separate socks of sorts. You've got the face. The neck with the hood on the back and, it and is. the ears. Fur, put your ears on first and then glue your face, your, oh, when it's sewn together, glue your face on and then sew your hood. You just go around all the edges sewing the hood. Get a curved needle and just start, you know, hidden stitches, teddy bear stitches. Right. Uh, stitch around the edges and then you got it together. And also another thing I that is actually quite important is vision. Vision is important. <laughs> and obviously, just an extra thing, fur direction starts at the nose and goes out and back. That's not all you're forwards. imagining. Not forward, not to the side, out and back, down the head, swooping over the head. Alright, vision. As you can see from the pictures up there, as you'll see with uh, all these three first suits, the vision here. These little lines are yeah. you here. It's all it's called tear duct vision. So basically you see from the tear duct they see this is you can buy so much stuff, you can buy so many different things. Is this buckram? This is buckram. Yeah. This is buckram. If you go online, you can buy it online. Some craft shops will have them. Oh, I, I couldn't them find out. it anywhere, so I got it from America. It was actually really cheap from the vision. Um, with Toonie suits, it's exactly the same. It's buckram, but most Toonie suits, they all have vision straight through the eyes. Mm -hmm. With resin, you cannot see a thing through it. It's like putting... Don't even hope to see through Yeah, eyes. that's not even the, oh, I might be able to see through it. This is like, you will not be able to see through it. This is like trying to look through a phone. Try and make your tear ducts when you're cut, either casting your really resin head. I've seen some people do realistic heads and bone, which is fine too. Yeah. Re make your bookroom, if you slant bookroom, it becomes quite hard to see through because obviously you're trying to see through the holes. Make your tear duct vision really quite forward facing and sort of flattish like that instead of the holes being like this because you won't end up seeing through it. And really another thing as well is that with tear duct vision, maybe you're going to be painting it in black with most of these yeah. anyway. Paint, paint the inside of it black as, as well. well. Because you're, uh, it's the whole, it's it's like whole science thing. Like you'll know about the, the science part, part of this. Uh, white on the inside fucks up your vision, basically. Yeah. If someone shoots a, ca uh, shoots a camera, shoots a camera at you, <laughs> if, someone takes a if someone takes a picture of you, it's going to reflect off it and yeah. you will be blind. And plus, you you could, I don't know why, but if you look through a white back book room, you can't see at all. So when you receive it in the post, you think, oh dear God. You paint it black, instant vision. Seriously, yeah. something happens with the light and you can just see through it perfectly. I've used shift on before. 
And one layer of that, and people can see your eyes through the first layer, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. So definitely get hold of Buck Chrome. Buck Chrome, and I've got a link off. Don't, don't think, oh, this is really realistic, I must make them really small. Give yourself as much vision as you need. Yeah. As you need. Don't, don't get it too big, like, dear, dear God. Yeah. Don't make sure like half the face of your face <laughs> makes up. But don't like, like, make it so like you're literally trying to look through toad like needle <laughs> holes. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, I'm just moving on quickly. Bit that everyone loves. Moving jaws. Okay. Lots of the 2D suits do not. I've seen a few 2D suits. Few 2D suits have. But a lot of them have the mouth open all the time. And with the beauty of this is that people are looking and going, it's talking. <laughs> and it's like, you can get it. I've seen some not talkable, you composable, which is like some people don't like to talk in person. And we don't care. We don't care, no. We don't, if, we I made it move for a reason. So I talk with this. Now I'm, I'm fairly protective over the method. Don't be, don't take too much. Oh, it's, 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 the same, it's the same with um, it's the same with <laughs> today right, stuff. I'm trying to well. get the best angle on it. Oh, I just double click it, don't I? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, you can see it properly there. Gone. This is the resin. This is that resin base as it was originally. I have two joining points here and a hinge point here. Now these two on either side were glued and bolted to the mask. These cannot move. Don't let them move. This is the one that needs to be your swing point. Now I tried a method where this one here was straight and this one here did this curl thing to like match your jaw but then I realised this resin comes up here, and then the hinge was back here, so it was like digging into the net. Rip that off, all you need is a straight piece, and another straight piece coming right back down. You need like a, a semi-45 degree sort of angle on that, um, and make it match on both sides, otherwise when it opens, you're going to have like a derpy jaw going on. <laughs> and it won't, if you've got wonky jaws, <laughs> then it's really bad to say, but you, it, you can really see a person who has a wonky jaw. <laughs> Massive teeth need to connect back up into there exactly as they came out. So if you've got a wonky jaw, it's just not going to ping back up properly. So once you've got this on, you can sometimes, because resin heads do this, obviously they're not boxes, you, you, you might have to heat form this with a heat gun so the resin, back resin comes down again. It gets a little bit complicated, but just practice with it. And this is like, like a, a, say a 5mm plastic. It, you can get it in sheets. I can't remember what it's called at all, but you get it in modelling shops. Um, all you need for that is, a, is, is elastic that goes right under, you can see it just here, sitting in this little pouch thing, right here, down under here, and back round like that. And that's, Some people, and that's what gives it this snap when it comes back up. Effect. Try not to do it too tight, or it'll really tie your jaw out when you're trying to move, and you're like, yeah. I just don't want to talk anymore. Yeah. Oh. Don't use... Oh. I'm going to say don't use springs, because all I can think is there is metal right next to water. What's going to happen over time is that you're going to get a rusty spring. And it's like, mm, great, now I've got to replace that. Not that elastic won't get loose over time, but elastic will be much easier to replace than unhooking and unscrewing a spring and all this jazz. Mm -hmm. I just prefer the elastic method because it's nice and stuff. Just some little quick things I'll say before we go on to the airbrushing. Mm -hmm. uh, 2D suits are... Uh, as I said, with the back of that will stay on your head. These both suits, does this one have a back of it has? Yes, yes, it does. Uh, all these suits have a uh, uh, back of the have you got your sewn in for them? Yes, I've sewn it into the edge. Yeah. Yeah. All of the back of the as you can just about see, are all sewn into, oh wait, I'm just going to say, deep on the don't take it off, I don't want you to take it off. <laughs> Just the edge, so you don't have to hold the balaclava to get. You just and then that's sewn onto the outside of the glued onto the inside of the head. Um, another thing to also keep it round is, uh, as you can see here, there is some foam work going on around the back of the head. There is a piece of a lot, as you can see from this panel here, quite thick. There is a big, thick, thick bit of around the back of the head. You have the human heads sit quite up right here and then slope back down. You want your elastic to sit just on yeah. that bit there. Sitting too low, you'll be getting Not pressure on the back of your neck, which will give you like headaches, really bad headaches. Sitting too high, it'll just push up and over, and then you'll have your fursuit hanging halfway down your neck. So, I say, so if you ever do uh, make a resin mask, when you get to this point, try it on. Yeah, don't just go ahead and foam it and fur it. Try it on, make sure it all fits, not too tight, giving you a headache, whatnot. Yeah. Don't want to head um, in the Just another quick thing as well. Uh, I'm shaving my head because I've got a really floppy picture of that. <laughs> oh, okay, wait. Um, another quick thing, spoil you that as well. Uh, teeth, tongues, whatever you want. 
These are all bought from, I think, all your resources. Yeah, they're all my resources. Uh, these are actually taxidermy, yeah. are these taxidermy wolf ones? jaws. Taxidermy yeah. wolf jaws on it, and as you can see, I'm just going to come around quickly. And that's uh, taxidermy tongues as well. Yeah. Uh, bit pricey, yes, that but... One, yeah, that one was about £50. Pounds. Mm. But very, very uh, useful, if you're, especially if, if you're playing really a realistic yes. suit. Um, and don't ignore the tongue fits. Yeah, that's just the tongue fits. The tongue fits. Um but yeah, those you can buy them the big white things with resource based about the electricity and not whatnot. But as you are out on my suit, I'm poor, so I made my teeth out of clay. And to they look good. I mean, my some of my teeth have fallen out. You go on wear another, but that is resin, a resin drawing. It's going to last a lifetime. Yeah. Another quick thing as well. With necks, as I was explained, make them nice and long so they sit on your body, yeah. the body suit quite nice. That's a zip and pop it again, like the same the body, body suit, do the on same the on the back of the head. Right, fluffiness, shaving. <laughs> shaving, this is Decon's head before. Don't let it look like this. Come on, come on, come on. I love that fluffiness. But, <laughs> that is Decon's head before it was shaved down. Shaving is not essential, but on really Robert suits. Essential. It's essential on two suits, it's essential on everything. All buy one of these. You will need it, like, incredibly. Stuff like this, definitely, it's definitely a must. But obviously, with your guards on, because sometimes if you get thicker fur, you have to go in with this, like, steady hand. But you will definitely need one of these. I got this one for £10. I personally mean, I think you just sent it to her like that. <laughs> I I when this bit was longer, it looked like an angry terrier and it was really scaring me. But shaving, I say, is, is nice. It gives it a nice effect, gives a nice short fur, unless you want like, to buy a nice cheapy fur like mine, it doesn't shave. So, so would not do this, no, you just don't wear it fluffy. So, with shaving, you can either buy a cheap one and have a really hard time with it, like me, and, or you can buy the better ones and have such an easy time with me. Just shaving through it. Casually, it'd be brilliant. Right. Okay, uh, quickly I'll leave you to this because I've never done this before. Airbrushing! Right, this is pre airbrushing. This is pre Jacob. Right, that's pre Jacob compared to this now. This Jacob. <laughs> and this is pre Decon compared to that there. Compared to the Decon. Uh, uh, she, yeah, she's, she's now gone. <laughs> she's now human again. And uh, also. Uh, this is, oh, no, yeah. That is the airbrush there. Airbrushes can come in all different uh, shapes, sizes, colours, and colours, colours, <laughs> uh, prices. <laughs> That's a gravity fed uh, dual action airbrush. Press down for paint, uh, press down for air, pull it back for paint. I mean, it's a small cup that you can get like large ones like right? this. I could not live with it. I broke it the other day and I cried. Uh, <laughs> um, and in most of it, it's just, it's, oh, you can buy airbrush paints, but they are ridiculously expensive. Watered down acrylic. Or, this is acrylic pigment, it's like an acrylic ink. This, I put on this, this, and my red dirty suit, I was like, oh crap, I spilt a bit, was scrubbing it for hours. This paint did not come off the fur at all. No. It was, it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, this is magic colour, in liquid acrylic. You add this to water, because if you don't water it down, it kind of gets a little bit sticky when you put it on fur. Even when it dries, it's a little bit oily, and it's not very nice to touch. Water it down with acrylic. Uh, with water, and um, you, you, it's just easier to work with the airbrush because then your airbrush doesn't get completely clogged and it's such a pain to clean. Mm -hmm. And it's just matching colours as well. Matching colours works. Uh, 